<laughs> okay, Frankie, what do you think? Take two. Take two. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and real quick, guys, we we had an intent we had intended to film this video outside mm -hmm. at the park, but uh, it's it's Sunday that the day just kind of got away from us. And it's a dark and gloomy day, so it was just too dark. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So here we are. Tabletop. Normal tabletop. Yep. 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 All right, we got a Kaiser for you. Yes, we do. Um, one of my favorite Kaisers, really. Yeah, it is. One that uh, we're both really excited about mm -hmm. for multiple reasons. The Megatherium. Introduced for 2017. I love this knife. It is a great one for sure. Yeah, actually, we've um, we've been a little late doing this. To re review, review it, yes. Yeah, we've used it quite a bit. We've been testing it. Yeah, I would say we, we tested it quite a bit, we've didn't we? We've been putting him to the test. Not even so much hard use, but... Uh, use. Use. Kitchen use, actually, mm -hmm. quite a bit. We'll tell you, it's it's a good knife for chopping. It really is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, many other things, too. I've edc seated it here and there, but mm -hmm. it's been in the kitchen quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Real quick, Frankie, sometimes we get we get crap about uh, using folding knives. Like, why would you use a folding knife for, for kitchen use or for food? And why just, not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What else are you going to use it for? Cutting boxes? I mean, come on. Which, of course, we do that, too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the Megatherium. Loving this knife. This is, of course, a Kaiser Premium knife or a Bladesmith knife. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Bladesmith officially because it is an Elijah Isham design. Mm -hmm. There's the Megatherium. You can see In his Isham, logo. the logo. Very cool. Very cool. Yes. Yep. Um, young designer. Very promising young designer, oh, too. Oh, yes. I guess we'll For talk sure. about some of his stuff a little later, but we met him at this year's Blade Show, 2017 Blade Show. Yeah. Awesome. Um, awesome kid. Really, uh, yeah. He's a kid because we, he's younger than us. Sorry, we say yeah. kid. He's, he's in his early 20s, <laughs> yeah. so he's a kid, but uh, mm -hmm. he's a very promising designer. Just cool guy. Yeah, yeah. Wish we could have hung out with him more. That that's the story at Blade Show, though. It's just like you just you don't you have meet enough. Meet people, and you're just like, I want to hang out with you. You don't have enough time. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, he's got a lot of uh, interesting stuff in the works, and he's got his own style, such as yeah. the Megatherium. Yeah. Look at this guy. Yeah. What's the cost on this one here? He is two thirty three. Two thirty three. So that's you know, that's up there, mm -hmm. right? But we should point out it's still less than the the premium Wii knives okay you know I kind of look at it almost like BMW versus Mercedes right. or say Honda, Honda versus, versus Toyota, Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know which I choose Honda sure I choose BMW right you know yeah. right yeah you always have your favorite you know <laughs> but it's just going to be one of those things and this design I think is going to appeal to a lot of people well, but look at what you're getting for that too it looks I mean, like, like a big like, knife in your hand it you know whatever. why you know why it's a big knife because it's a big knife yeah yeah Look in my hand here. It fits in your hand. It does. It does. Now, I can always choke up, getting a little bit ahead, but yeah. Yeah, 233. Let's talk about what you get for 233 bucks. Of course, you're going to get a premium blade steel. Mm -hmm. Frankie, that is S35VN. Yes, it is. That's going to be a powdered blade steel, which, yeah, what's the length on that one? He is 3.625. 3.625. Mm -hmm. Just uh, what do we have out here to compare it to? Let's see. I actually have the Spidey Chef. It makes him look so little. Look at that. A little bit, huh? <laughs> yeah, Spidey <laughs> Chef may be relevant because it's kind of a chef's knife, mm -hmm. right? But, but I actually <laughs> use this more in the kitchen than this, which is weird. This, yeah, this has been a kitchen <laughs> knife uh, quite a bit more. I really this. like the Warncliffe blade for kitchen use. It I, I find been. it very useful in the kitchen. It has been I, very I find useful. it nice to chop with. You can I pull like, that I, off, I, I like the cutout right here, so it makes it so I can actually cu yeah, cut it down this. very well. So I can See chop. that, guys? She can pull that off. Let because me, let me show you, though. I can, yeah. I can't quite do that. Yeah, I <laughs> but I can still, you know, you can, you can still chop, like, uh, if you want to, like so, like so, like, like so. so. <laughs> I like all of the so's so's yeah. yeah so 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 but yeah Warncliffe blade it's got this well throughout it's got this black stone wash finish mm -hmm. which gives it a weathered look it makes so, it so you can use it it does right out of the box you're not afraid to use this knife Throw it in your pocket you're good yeah it doesn't scratch it doesn't well I mean it, it might but you just don't see it mm -hmm. you know 
Check that out, yeah. Um, I like the lines with it, too. Like, the lines, you, it... Oh, very cool. And the edges. Mm -hmm. Check out the end there. It's just got that weathered look it. It has a it. very futuristic look to him. All of his designs kind of have this artistic look to it. He definitely has a unique style, doesn't mm -hmm. he? Yeah. Like, all of his designs you can really tell are his, which I really yeah. like. Yeah. Um, let's see, what are we talking about? We mentioned S35VN. So it is a flipper, of course. Um, I guess just jumping ahead to that real quick. It's it's going to be a light switch flipper. It's not really push button at all. Frankie, you, you know, you don't really put pressure down on this one. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't work so much like that. It's just light switch. You just pull back and it goes, right? Pull back and it goes. Yeah. Give that a shot. Pull back and it goes. It's pull a little... back and it goes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm like an infomercial guy. Yeah, it's 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 stiffer. It is. Well, it's it's bigger for you, so it's always going to be a little different, um, difficult, and it is a stiff detent, which uh -huh. for most people and and you know it, it it's a good thing. It's a yeah. good thing, but for your hands, it's just yeah, it's a big knife combined with a big detent. It's a little bit difficult. Yeah. So I take like that him, take that into consideration. We do have something to say about that though, the the large the the size of this knife. Right? Yes. Do, yeah. do we want to get uh, into let's, it? Let's hold off on okay, that for okay. a second. Yeah. But then he's got the cutout, of course. So if you want to discreetly open this, you can just okay. swing it open like so. And you can choke up right here. See this finger choil? It's kind of uh, split between the blade and the, and the handle scale itself. Mm -hmm. And you put your thumb up top. And the flipper tab does actually go into it. Once you have it open, it kind of, it that. goes, it. It buries itself buries in itself there. Buries itself behind, yeah. I hadn't painting. really thought about that. Yeah, it does. Absolutely. And so, I really like what, wait, I like the design when it's shut too. It, it, just, it doesn't it look cool? Yeah. It looks like an alien pod. <laughs> kind of, doesn't it? I'll go along with that, sure. Yeah. yeah. It just it has a neat look to it. Nice flip, yep. Yeah. Um, the, la the last way you could, if you want to, um, full flat grind, which fairly thick blade stock, I guess we could say. What is it, 0.16? Yeah. On the thicker side, but it tapers down. Uh, full flat grind here. Mm -hmm. You can, I mean, there's enough blade here, you can just kind of choke up and for fine detail work. You, you could, could whittle. You could whittle. Uh, <laughs> do, your, do your work like so. Your whittle woodwork. Whittle woodwork, yeah. <laughs> well, you laugh, but you could do it. You could. Isn't that smooth? Mm hmm. Well, we could talk about. Did I touch, did I touch you with the blade? Yeah, but you didn't come Let's me. see. Okay. Let's see. It's fine. We'll wait for that. I'll survive. Okay. I'm okay. Well, let's talk about the other one that it comes with. I would with. blame you, though. Because let's talk about the other option. <laughs> we'll wait to see if she starts gushing <laughs> blood. I, I'm fine. It comes in another option. It does. So it comes in a carbon fiber titanium version, too. I'll show a picture titanium of that. Titanium up here and then carbon fiber down here. But the thing that's kind of nice about the other one is that it's lighter. So it's it, kind of a nice option, too. Yeah, this is an awesome... This... This, our particular um, color version here, the, the all black wash, um, very cool. The other version looks awesome as well. I would want them both if, you know. The carbon fiber version is 5.43 ounces. Let's see how much ours weighs. 6.3. So, the so. the titanium and carbon fiber version approaching an ounce lighter. Mm -hmm. eh, something to consider. I mean, it's... it's not a lightweight knife. No. A lot of you that buy these type of knives just don't care. When I'm carrying this knife, I don't care. It's ergonomic. It's it not is. Like it's, it is. It doesn't feel heavy at all. I'm not gonna take this one camping. This is this is like no. urban carry. <laughs> I you know what I could. It's for but it's, kitchen. It's, I'm not kitchen gonna use. I'm not gonna take it backpacking. How about that? Yeah. Lightweight backpacking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Where are we at there? I think we're at the pivot. Yes. So. I will say, with and Kaiser's not the only one, but um, you know, various manufacturers, production manufacturers, they come what I'll call factory dirty, um, and we see this on Nick's videos as well when he disassembles a, a brand new knife. Essentially, they come factory dirty, and perhaps we added to it with our various yeah. food. But um, yeah, you can see sausage oh, juice. Yeah, sausage juice. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that, that we said before. I'll bring in a picture of the, the knife when it was apart with the. Psh, thank you. That's with a picture the, sound with the pivot there you can see kind of the the black debris and just kind of dirt build up there um i had this knife apart very simple it obviously rides on bearings and washers little little races for the for the bearings um cleaned up nicely and i used frankie had a chance to use the nano oil 85 weight yep. guys this is frankie you want to show that 
up and down. That's very thick, you guys. It reminds me of those pins. Remember with like the naked lady that you'd be like. Wait, naked lady? Yeah, remember like when no. you were a kid. A pen with an... Uh, oh my gosh, am I really the only one? A naked lady when you're a kid? No, I don't remember this. Oh my gosh, okay. What are you talking about? Like the clothes would come off when you turn it upside down. I do not remember this. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm the only one. Somebody okay. comment, okay, somebody I'm comment. Okay, I'm the only one. No, somebody comment. Okay. Um, anyway. I'm not this alone. Is the <laughs> this is the 85 weight nano oil. Now the reason I'm liking this stuff, especially I'm using it on the heavy blades, the heavier blades, to kind of slow the action down. 85 weight is the viscosity you'll find in a gear oil. You'll find it in differentials and gear cases um, in, in your car. That's thick. Um, and, and what I'm finding, Frankie, watch your fingers. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was just go and put my finger in there. That was nice. Um, let's get rid of those boxes. Okay. I think you're making it a little bit yellow. Okay. Yeah. But, ting. Ting. Check out the action, though. And it was smooth before. It's not like it wasn't, but it's smoother it's now. It's like super smooth. Sound. It's got a nice sound. Oh yeah. Uh. This thing flips <laughs> and retracts very nicely. And after I clean it up, it's just that much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Check out the free fall on it though. I like the 85 weight because it kind of slows down a heavy blade. That's that's my little theory and experimentation so far anyway. I just love that sound Liking so it. much. Yep, yep. This is just such a big blade for me though. Um, should we get into that real quick? We could. So, Elijah has hinted, you guys, you didn't hear it from us. Maybe you did hear it from us. Maybe you did, okay. I mean, we're looking at a big knife here, okay? Yeah, it's a big blade. Elijah has hinted there might be a mini, mini Megatherium or a mini Therium. I'm not sure oh which is going Oh my gosh, wouldn't with. it be amazing? It would be a three inch blade because we're Ooh. talking, what is this? Uh, 3.6 over a 3.6 inch blade a three inch version of this. Oh my gosh, please, wouldn't it be amazing? Please do that. And Kaiser, if you're seeing that, uh, yeah, if you're seeing this, please make it happen. I think he would love it. Yeah, it, uh, his and hers, or just, I mean, I'll, I'll carry the mini version right. too. Right. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Very cool. Uh, I love the so idea. Awesome. I love the idea. Uh -huh. Obviously, it's a, it's a frame lock. Titanium. You can see the lock up there. It's got the over travel stop. I love the behind the scenes over travel stops. Yeah. I don't like them. I mean, just a side note, I, I never liked them when they're on the outside, like the little discs and different things you do on the outside to, to, to prevent the bar from going too far. Uh, I, I like this style much better. This guy's so cool. Yeah. I just, like I said, I love Elijah's style and just artistic design. You know that like he's an artist. Artistic and functional. Yes. It's just like you you have a work of art in your pocket. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds really weird but it's true I mean like seriously well, it's just amazing like I really like it you can tell like his designs like um this one I it, it's, it's I want to use cool. the, I'm tempted to use the word extravagant and maybe they are this one maybe not so much just because the color is rather you know it's just a single color mm -hmm. throughout but if we get into his, some of his other designs, like, um, well... Well, he designs for Wii also. Yeah. And then there's some other ones for Kaiser coming out soon, too. Yeah, okay, so for Kaiser, real quick, there's the Theta. That's coming soon, too. Uh, maybe, yeah. I can, maybe I can find a picture of that. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, there's we actually got to handle that back in, I think it was late May. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, as you mentioned, for Wii knives, yeah. he's got some. We, we handled those at Blade Show. Yeah, those are really... Cool. I. At the time of this video, Frankie, I don't think they're out. No, they're not out yet. Those are just crazy looking, too. Very, very unique in style, but at the same time, like, super ergonomic and functional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, those are just those um, are insane. Very anxious to get a hold of those. I know, I want one. Yeah. Um, and he, actually, Rob Carter... He's, oh, doing some, yeah. he's doing some work mm -hmm. with Rob Carter, even. Yep, those we are love, awesome, too. We love Rob Carter's Remember stuff. Remember, we, we just, like, he hand, like Elijah handed one to us, and we were just like, what is this? And it was just cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, meeting him, uh, I think it was the Saturday of the show, mm -hmm. I want to say. Yeah, that was awesome. Kaiser. There's another one. It's about it's the same the, uh, size. Yeah, about the same size. That's the John Gray GPB-1, or the Thuck. <laughs> That's T H U C K. Nice, yeah. <laughs> the thuck, yeah. Actually, this points to one thing about the knife. 
real quick, let me just say. So if I had a criticism on the knife, and this is from me carrying it. Frankie, you haven't carried this no, one. No, no, I don't carry it. You flip it and use it in the kitchen. I carry it across the cutting board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, which is awesome. It's cool. Right, yeah. Um, I've carried this one more than a few times. It, the only criticism I would have, and it's just, it's really a minor one, the clip makes for difficult, uh, it, it makes it difficult to get into your pocket. Mm, okay. So, uh, as opposed to a clip like this, where it's just very one-handed simple, this one's very rough to, to get in one-handed. It's kind of a two-handed job. You, you reach over with your other hand to kind of assist. <laughs> Don't even go there. You started laughing. Sorry, it sounded funny. <laughs> It's a two-handed job. You reach around with your other... <laughs> you, I actually am trying to do a serious review because I love this knife, Frankie, and you're making jokes. <laughs> I'll try not to laugh. No, this is my only criticism, though. Okay. The clip is a little bit, yeah, difficult to... Uh, in the pocket. Out of the pocket, it's fine. Carrying, it's fine. Okay, and it's a relatively deep carry. I, I would... No, not even that. It's It's perfect. It's perfect as far as depth in your pocket. Um, everything else is fine. That's a minor criticism, though, mm -hmm. really. I mean, just as opposed to a clip like that, looks-wise, it's great. So I don't yeah. know. I don't know if i change it, right? It's just awesome looking. And then we we say we want to be serious. Here, set that one down. Okay, go ahead. Well, I mean, oh, you can, sorry. Okay. for comparison's sake, um, we say we want to be serious. I was just going to say, let's and compare And then you bring it. out your slut. Let's compare yeah. it to the slut, mm -hmm. which you guys know I love the slut. Actually, it's got my edge on there. I always have to point that out. Yeah, you need to put an edge on this guy. From know. the KME Sharpener. Right. Yeah, yeah, this this knife deserves a an aftermarket. Um, yeah, put a really shiny mirror, mirror edge. edge on it. Yep, yep. But that is really cool on the black finish. I believe so. Uh -huh. The the slut from Kaiser. This one's been out for the well thuck, over a year. The thuck and the slut mm -hmm. and the Meg theory. Yeah, these are both John Gray. He needs a baby. What else do we have? Do you have another Kaiser over there? What I else have do we the get sea out? lion. Sea lion? Here, let's, you can go like that. Actually, this one's not been shown yet, has uh -huh. it? Nope. Yeah, there's the sea lion. That's a good knife. That's a smooth knife, too. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Very good. But anyway, some of the premium Kaisers, anyway. Like we say, um, this is kind of direct competition to Wii knives, and they work with a lot of the designers, which is very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, show that edge real quick. So, we've oh. done a lot of chopping. So maybe into food, so it's relatively soft, but Frankie, onto a chopping board. Right, like chopping onto here. Quite a bit. And then I've done a little bit of cardboard cutting. Voila! <clears throat> I've only strapped this knife. Wow. Okay, that's the factory edge. Kaisers come very sharp. No problems there. Okay, no problems that's there. That's yeah. awesome. Love this knife. Is there anything else we should mention about it? Mm, that he should have a baby? <laughs> He's only 23. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Megatherium should have a baby. Yes. That's what I, I agree. Meant. I agree. Jeez. This knife this knife needs a mini version. Yeah. Yes. Um a But three I can inch... say that about pretty much every knife. Every knife should have a baby. A baby like, version? Yes. Yeah, yeah. But especially this one. Look at how it's just think of the personality mm -hmm. of him and if he had a baby it would be awesome. There's to inch scale. Right? Mm -hmm. That's a big old knife. Yeah, I I personally would love a small version of this yeah. knife. You want a baby? And I love this knife. I didn't say that. <laughs> Hold your words, woman. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I agree. Very cool stuff here. We'll put a link in. You um, guys heard it here first. He wants a baby. You also heard that the baby might happen. The Megatherium. Mm -hmm. So yeah, cool stuff. Frankie, you got anything else? Nope. Right. Let's work on a baby. <laughs> now you're just like not stop with all <laughs> that. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think that's it. Thanks a lot for joining us, guys. Bye.